Welcome sa zip9.com. This video ito rin natin ating series on ratio and proportion. No? And sa previous video ay napag-aralan natin that a ratio is a relationship no? between two numbers. No? So pag mayroon tayong two numbers A and B and B not equal to zero, then the ratio, sorry, the ratio, not ratio, the ratio of A to B is A over B. Well, the reason kung bakit hindi siya hindi dapat mag-zero yung B, no? Dahil magkakaroon tayo ng division by zero and we know that uh, division by zero is an undefined operation, no? So, yung A of A over B, no? Or A divided by B can also be represented as A colon B, which is read as A is 2 B, no? So, after that definition, tsaka yung mga concepts natin, Tingnan natin na uh, kung paano natin isosolve tong problem na to or i-represent this ratio. So if segment AB is 14 centimeters long and uh, segment CD is 2 decimeters long, what is the ratio of the length of segment AB to the length of segment CD? Well, um, ano nga ba ang decimeter? Di ba ang 1 decimeter? Makikita nyo, ito decimeter siya, tapos ito centimeter. So, pag pinag-uusapan natin yung ratio, syempre, dapat pareho sila ng unit, no? So, it's either we convert uh, centimeter to decimeter para pareho sila maging uh, ng unit, pareho, pareho sila maging decimeter, or we convert decimeter to centimeter, no? So, mas maganda kung ito ay convert natin papunta sa centimeter para wala tayong decimal. Kasi pag convert natin to dito, mas malaki yung decimeter, magkaroon tayo ng decimal. So, once 1 decimeter, no? 1 decimeter is actually 10 centimeters, no? So, big sabihin, meron tayong 2 decimeters that is equal to 20 centimeters. Ibig sabihin, yung ratio natin is 14, 14 centimeter over, ilan yun? 20 centimeter. Or, 14 over 20, or pwede natin siyang lowest terms, divided by 2, divided by 2. That's 7 over 10. So, the ratio is 7 is to 10. And here, yung common unit natin, Tignan nyo yung common unit natin, pareho tayong centimeters. No? So, centimeters, centimeters. Hindi pwede magkaiba yan, dapat pare may parehong unit. Okay? Number two, we have if angle P has a measure of 40 degrees and angle Q has a measure of 60 degrees, find the ratio of the measure of angle P to the measure of angle Q. So, again, we have 40 this is 40 degrees, 40 degrees over 60 degrees is the same as, ano pwede natin ano? 2 thirds na lang siya, no? divided by 20 degrees. So, mawawala na itong unit natin. This is a number, no? number na siya kagaya nito. So, 2 thirds na siya. Dito wala na rin centimeters. So, the ratio is 2 thirds or... 2 is 2. Pwede natin siyang represent as 2 is to 3. Okay, so yun lang yung ating, uh, I think the idea, yung idea nitong itong video na to is that kailangan magkaroon tayo ng magkaparehong unit. And pangalawa, pag na-reduce na natin to lowest terms, single number na yung ratio natin pag ni-represent natin siya as fraction. No? And here, although na 7 is to 10 yan, you're actually talking about 70%. No? For example, sa sa percent no so uh, number siya yung pinag-uusapan natin pag tayo ay uh, nag-uusap about ratio no so actually pwede mo siyang i-convert sa percent no? like this one this is 66.6% uh, uh, no? approximately 66.6% okay so maraming salamat sa susunod ay uh, magsosolve pa tayo ng mas marami pang problems uh, gusto ko yung invite sa supply.com yung ating uh, website nandiyan yung ating mga um, videos na nakalista siya sunod-sunod no? so mas mapapanood nyo siya ng mas maayos. Maraming salamat See you in the next tutorial